So I have a couple of examples for you for um, absolute value inequalities. Absolutely. I have our first example, our white example, x plus 2, the absolute value of that is smaller than 5 or is less than. Okay, over here I have 2 times the absolute value of x minus 2 is great or than 10. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to solve this white one first. We see here, this is going to break up into two cases. All of these are going to break up into two cases. Because the stuff on the inside, whether it's positive or negative, after we take the absolute value, it needs to be smaller than 5. And that's how I'm going to break it up. First, where the stuff inside is positive, x plus 2 is smaller than 5. My connecting word here, I'll get to that. Or the opposite of this x plus 2 is smaller than 5. Okay, once again, the stuff inside can be positive or the stuff inside can be negative, and the absolute value is going to take care of that. My connecting word here comes from less than. Purposefully misspelled, so that the last ending of the word is and. My connector here is and. All right, sure. So I'm going to finish him. This is going to be x is smaller than. Now when I subtract 2 from both sides, that's going to be a 3. Tee hee, tee hee. That one's all solved and stuff. Ooh, ooh. Minus x minus 2 is smaller than 5. Very nice. This time I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So I have minus x is smaller than 7. Very nice. So now, so now I need to get rid of that minus sign, so I'm going to multiply by a minus 1. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to switch the sign. Uh-huh. So then x is going to be bigger than a minus 7. Very nice. Now that I've solved them both, I want to graph them both. Here at minus 7, which way am I going to shade? To the window or to the wall. There's literally a window right there. Uh huh. Okay, sure. Well, as long as my x is on the left, as long as my x is on the left, as long as my x is on the left, I can shade the way the arrow goes. It says walls. Mm hmm. Is that opened or closed right there? Open, open, open. Because there's no or equals to. All right. So then over here at three, t he. Tee hee. That one says shade that way. Remember, as long as the x is on the left, you can shade that way. So then that one's also open. Ooh, scratchy. The towels are scratchy. Now this is the and case. When it's the and case, we're looking for the overlap. So we see in interval notation, the solution set is minus 7, 2, 3. Tee hee. Tee hee. And then that one's with a nice scratchy flower. But wait, there's more. As a bonus feature, I'm going to go through and I'm going to do this one. 2 times the absolute value of x minus 2 is bigger than 10. Uh huh. And for some more flavor, I'm going to even put in or equal to on it. Alright, so the first thing you need to do before we um, apply our definition of absolute value is isolate the absolute value. Got to get it by himself. He's not. He got 2 multiplied by him. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Yes. So then I have the absolute value of x minus 2 is going to be bigger than or equal to. Wait, do I have to flip the sign on that one? No, because I'm not multiplying or dividing by a negative number. Alright. Uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Very nice. Now that we have the absolute value isolated, I can break it up into the two cases. One where x minus 2 is bigger than or equal to 5, and the other one where the opposite of x minus 2 is bigger than or equal to 5. Yeah, doing it this way, 
it's nice. The stuff inside could be positive or negative. It doesn't change things. Uh-huh. Finish him. Let's add two to both sides. Yeah. Uh, X is going to be bigger than or equal to 7. Very nice. That one's done. Consider it solved. X is by himself. Over here. Minus X plus 2 is bigger than or equal to 5. Very nice. I was distributing in the negative, and that all happened on this side, so no, I do not have to change the sign. I'm going to subtract 2 off each side, and I have a minus X is bigger than or equal to, hey, 3, T he, T he. Further, isolating X, I multiply both sides by a minus 1. And whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to switch the sign. Uh-huh. There's your minus 3 right there. Very nice. So I have them both solved. Now I want to graph them both. So then over here, mm -hmm, on that minus 3, which way we shade? Sure. Winders. Um, this way. Is it opened or closed on that one? That one's closed. Yes. Why? Because of the equals 2. Over here on the 7, I'm shading walls. Mm-hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Woo. Okay. What was the connecting word on this? The connecting word on this was or. Why? Because this is great for then. Purposely misspelled. Great or then. So the connecting word here is or. Sure. So or, is that the everywhere or is that the overlap? Or is the everywhere. So we need to write down everywhere where it's shaded. Uh-huh. So it's shaded from minus infinity to 3 on minus 3. Close there. Always open on infinity. It can't get it. Okay. And then we need to onion it up with something. Yeah. In union with. Right. This is the symbol for union. Mm-hmm. And then this is 7 to infinity. Tee-hee. Tee-hee. And that right there is the thing that gets the box. And the flower.